Hi guys, it is another great afternoon for another Suzanne Tate special, Read Aloud with Lolly. So this one is Stevie B.C. Horse, Tale of a Proud Papa. This one has been a favorite in my family for many years. I hope you enjoy it too. <clears throat> Stevie B.C. Horse was a strange fish. He lived inside a bony armor. And he came into the world in a very strange way. When Stevie B was born, he popped from an egg carried by Papa Seahorse in a pouch. Stevie B's 50 brothers and sisters popped out of the pouch too. All the baby seahorses were tiny, but each one looked just like Papa Seahorse. Right away, Stevie B Seahorse was full of questions. Papa, what do we do now? Where shall we go? And where's Mama? Papa Seahorse thought a while as he waved back and forth in the water. He could stay in one place because his tail was wrapped around some seaweed. Your mama can't be here, Papa Seahorse replied. She's busy producing more eggs. But don't worry, Papa Seahorse said. You will know what to do and where to go in your new world. Mother Nature will guide you. Now Stevie B's new world was a grassy, seabed. The water was warm and not too deep. He snuggled down in the bed of seagrass and he learned right away how to hang on tight with his tail. I'm hungry, aren't you? Stevie B said to his brothers and sisters. They were hanging on to seagrass with him. We are too, they all said at once. Let's see what we can find to eat. All the baby seahorses waved back and forth. They strained the water for plankton. That's tiny plants and animals. There was plenty of food for all of them. The baby seahorses ate like horses and grew quickly. They grew as much as two inches in two months. I think some of you guys grow two inches in two months sometimes too. <clears throat> as he grew bigger, Stevie B became restless. I'm gonna look for a new seabed, he said. Papa Seahorse was nearby and heard him. Just be careful he said to Stevie B. Crabby and Nabby are out there somewhere and they would like to eat you. Stevie B politely listened to his papa, but he wanted to see new places. So Stevie B swam along upright, as seahorses do, until he came to a new seabed. I'll look over this place, he said, and with the little fin on his back beating fast, Stevie B suspended himself. Stevie B. Seahorse swam down into the new seabed. He fastened his tail to the seagrass and he looked all around with his special eyes. His eyes were special because he could use them one at a time. He could look for food in every direction without moving his body. Cool. Soon Stevie B. spied a little shrimp. This is a great place, he thought, as he snapped up the shrimp and he waved back and forth in the water. Stevie B was enjoying himself and feeling a little groggy. That means overconfident. He didn't notice Crabby and Nabby crawling his way. Suddenly, Stevie B was scared. He could see Crabby and Nabby behind him. I'll hide from those crabs, he thought quickly. In just a few seconds, he changed from gold to green, the color of the seaweed. Mm. He was a horse of a different color, and Crabby and Nabby couldn't find Stevie B. They crawled right past him. That was a close one, right, Lolly? Said Stevie B. And on that day, he learned to be careful and not so cocky. Stevie B stayed in the seabed to feed. One night, when the moon was full, many seahorses came and joined him there. Stevie B began to fill his pouch with water to make it look big. Two females watched him. <clears throat> the females were Sally Seahorse and Sarah Seahorse. Both of them were friendly to Stevie B, but not friendly to each other. I saw him first, said Sally Seahorse. No, you didn't, cried Sarah Seahorse. Each one of the females wanted to give Stevie B her eggs to carry in his big pouch. He's like, what? 
I can't believe that I will soon be a proud papa, CDB wondered out loud. Oh, but it's true, said a voice nearby. <clears throat> it was Papa Seahorse hiding in the seaweed. You must do your part so seahorses can live on and on, he said. Papa Seahorse was solemn as he continued. Who knows what solemn means? Maybe that's one to look up and share with us at class meeting. This is what Mother Nature intends for us to do. We can't afford to horse around if we're going to stay around. You're right, said Stevie B. I want to be the best papa anybody ever saw. And from that day on, Stevie B. Seahorse was pleased with his special place in life. And there's another glance at all the stories we have to look forward to. All right, look forward to seeing you next time for Read Aloud with Lolly.